guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. This is my most requested video. Anytime I upload a picture to Instagram or a video, I get multiple, multiple, multiple comments asking me to do a what's on my iPhone video. And part of me is like, why is this so requested? But then the other part of me is really nosy and completely understands why it's so requested. I have the iPhone X s max i get questions on this all the time my phone case and the little card holder are both from amazon i always have where my phone case is from where my outfit's from what makeup i'm wearing in the description if you guys ever have any questions check there first this is my home screen it's my dog zoe she's the cutest thing ever and honestly i am just obsessed with my dog here's my background i have this like open page just because i think it's cute it says make it happen it was my dog before and then i changed it because i felt like i was being a little obsessive so on my like lower screen i have messages phone safari and then app store which i need to update a lot i just have contacts calendar photos camera facetime compass clock maps i use maps every single day i'm not kidding you every single day i'm so directionally challenged health calculator watch i have an apple watch i'm not wearing it today but i just have the watch and then the activity to see like if I exercise which I don't really and then I have weather which I check to see like UV rays notes I use notes for everything all my video ideas any video that I'm doing that I would need talking points for I use that podcast my recent obsession I listen to podcasts more than I listen to music obsessed recently I've been listening to crime junkie these are kind of like yeah I've been having a crime junkie obsession recently just because murders are really interesting reminders reminders I just use for a list like I have bucket list things things that I need to get when I go dorm shop Thing, back to school videos, things I need to buy, sponsorships I'm doing in the future. This is kind of like a goal thing right here, get there. Caption ideas, iTunes store, I don't really use that. Settings, Instagram. If you guys want to follow my Instagram, here's my Instagram. If you guys want to click on this photo right here, I am doing a Sephora gift card. It's a $50 giveaway. And if you guys watch this video, when this giveaway ends, which it ends on the 26th, I'll have another giveaway going on because I'm going to be doing giveaways all summer. If you guys want to enter my giveaway, follow me, you know, just got my hair done super cute this is another picture of my dog that was my screensaver for a little bit but then i was like maybe i should switch it up and then i have music honestly i have apple music but like let's just be real here i listen to podcasts more than i listen to music nowadays this is utilities just like all the random stuff i've never used the measure tool but i've oh ooh, oh god never used that but always wanted to and then that was a little sneak peek of what you see <laughs> when i film and then i have sephora snapchat i have a public snapchat but i don't use it anymore so if you find a snapchat that's mine like don't add it because a lot of people have been finding my personal snapchat which is like cool and everything but like i share so much of my life on the internet that like it would be cool to like have a little bit of privacy you know you know and then i have youtube buy my iphone this is a period tracker app these are all like banking venmo paypal kind of thing apps twitter if you want to follow my twitter i mean i don't really tweet anymore but i kind of think i retweet funny things sometimes this one it says i saw a cheetah today and it's a really cute dog so Mm -hmm. um i have netflix hulu pinterest facebook i don't ever go on facebook ever these are photo app photo vault um is where i have all my before pictures for when i get fit so it's kind of like a photo album of me getting fatter because i've never gotten fit um, but yeah that's what's in there camera connect is for my g7x if i want to like take a photo and send it to my phone that's how you do that and then google earth i actually use this to find photo shoot locations that's why it's in the photo one like i'll just like look up places near me and then like kind of look on google earth to see if there's anything cute over there pro tip just influencer things ha 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 okay and then here is my photo and video app this is how i edit my instagram photos let me just let me just go back to instagram a lot of you guys ask me how i edit my instagram photos and thank you for you know complimenting me but i do use a preset that i bought and i pretty much change like every single setting on the preset but since i paid for it i just don't think it's right to share it because it's like giving something away for free that someone's selling i just think it's like theft or like not theft but i'm pretty sure it's illegal and it just doesn't feel right even though i did change a lot of the things it just doesn't feel right to me to do that i have face tune which i don't use to like make me skinny or anything um a lot of the times i will just use this to get stains out of my shirt <laughs> and then unum this app this is how i plan out my instagram feed so there's a little sneak peek for you guys. If I want to see if it fits or anything, this is what I will use. Lightroom is what I edit in. I'm not even sure exactly which preset I use to get this filter that I have, but here's a little before and after. 
Thank you. So that's what I used to edit in. If you want me to do a video talking about like editing hacks for your photos, like how to make yourself look tanner, how to make your background look a little bit whiter, I can do that. Again, don't think it feels right to share my preset that I use, which again, don't even remember which one it is. Sorry. Then I have Visco, which I used to use. I don't use anymore. Unfold is the app that people use for their stories. I don't ever use it because I'm just not that cool. And then I have Face Over Light, which is you can take parts of other photos and paste them onto other photos. Like as you can see, it made like Mona Lisa's head upside down. I will use this to like like Photoshop thing. One time I had to send in proof that I was going somewhere and I had that proof that it was like before a certain date so I photoshopped it to like pretend like it was that date. That's what I use face over light for. I'm on my phone and not on my computer. And then Pick Monkey is what I use to make my thumbnail but I recently got this app. I got this app yesterday so I haven't really used it. Flashcardlet is the app that I use to quiz myself. Ugh, I just like ugh, I don't even know what I was saying there. Flashcardlet is the app that I use for flashcards on my phone. Daily Horoscope. I don't ever look at that. Facebook Messenger. Honestly the only reason why it's there is because if I delete it it moves all my apps over and I just like can't do that. This app is called Ben and it tells you where all the places you've been. I haven't really been to a lot. If anyone wants to take me to Greece, hit me up. Music, Spotify, and Pandora. I have Apple Music, so I know people are like very against that. My Fitness Pal, don't really use that, but it's still there. Google Translate, Amazon, Dictionary, Sleep Cycle. So I use this for my alarm, so you can like turn alarm on, and it'll wake you up within a 10 minute span of when you naturally start to wake up, and it records your sleep. So this is my sleeping like all of the past nights. As you can see, waking up at 5 a.m. for my internship. It actually like recorded me snoring one time. Oh, this is my sleep quality, wow. Ooh, Thursday, I did not sleep very well that day. Mm. Okay, well, it recorded me. One time I snored, and it recorded me snoring, and I was trying to find that, but I guess I couldn't. So then I retell me not Gmail. Gmail is probably my most used app. I'm not kidding. I check my Gmail more than I check, like, my Instagram, my text messages, my Snapchat. YouTube Studio is basically, like, analytics for YouTube, so I can see, like, how much I'm getting paid, how many views I'm getting, and this is also the app that I respond to your guys' comments on because they're all in one area, so I can see comments on every single video that are the most recent, so that's why I use that. I have time hop which tells you like one year ago today five years ago today and i've been checking this for over a year and so i have a streak going on time hop and it's great zillow i really like to be nosy and see how much my friend's house has cost food i have costa vida cafe rio starbucks tasty app Woo! okay the tasty app and like the instagram like videos where they show you how to make food i'm obsessed with i spend so much time doing that and then i have yelp which i don't really use education i have quizlet google docs google slides symbol lab which um ugh. it kind of gives you answers for math problems but it doesn't tell you how to do that unless you pay for it if i'm ever really stuck i will look up symbol lab and then i have google sheets and then dough okay i'm like so low i didn't Sorry, sorry, let me sit up straight and be proper. I don't work with Doe anymore ever since their whole like scandal thing. I just decided I don't wanna work at a company like that. But if I delete it, then it moves all my apps over. So I'm kind of waiting to like download another app so I can put it in its place. That's why that's there. And then I go to Arizona State University. So this is my ASU folder. I have ASU app, Blackboard, and then Canvas, which are ASU is stupid. And you have, there's two different like grading apps. So those are the two. In system is what I use for my sorority to like check in to like events that were there. And then Mob Lab. It's just delete it. It's an app that I used to use for a class that I'm no longer in. GroupMe is basically a group texting app, so my sorority uses this. So you don't have to have a group chat with 200 people. You can tell GroupMe and you can mute it and it's great. And I have almost every single one muted. And then this is travel folder. So I have Uber, Lyft, Bird, which is like the little scooter things. Um, Postmates, American Airlines, and then Southwest Airlines. And then Amazon Alexa. I have an Alexa, but my mom stole it. Could delete that, but then it moved all the apps over again. Then I have AdSense, which just like tells me how much I get paid, which honestly, this is how much I'm getting paid. Yeah, that's how much I'm getting paid. <laughs> it doesn't tell me how much I get paid. I don't even know why I'd be out. And then I have an app called Anchor and then Madison. When I live in Tempe over the school year for my school, this is what I do. And these are the spin classes. And the other day I booked a spin class. Chris is my favorite personally. I booked a class and then I was like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm not going to go. So I just like wasted all my money. <sighs> Tea. So that was everything on my iPhone. I hope that you guys like this video and I hope that you're happy that I'm finally doing it because you guys have been requesting it a ton. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not already, don't forget to enter my giveaway and we're going to be having more giveaways in the future because once this giveaway ends, we're doing another one. It's a summer of giveaways and I'll be having a giveaway on this channel. All my money is going towards you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Like hit my face when I did that. Bye.